TV time. TV. And guess what's not on TV? What is not on TV? The Walking Dead. It's gone. Till next fall. We're in that dead period. <laughs> but there's going to be a Walking Dead called like Fear, Fear of the Dead or something like that set in L.A. It's supposed oh. to be early outbreak. A little spinoff. Starting this summer. So we have that to look forward to. That would be an interesting thing. But It's okay, Steve. It's fine. Because you know what's filling that void in my life now? What? Daredevil on Netflix. Daredevil. I'm telling you, man. They put all 12 episodes, boom, all on Netflix. Ben, watch it if you want to waste a day of your no life. Waste, no waiting. No, I'm not doing that. I didn't sit down and binge watch it. I'm enjoying a couple of episodes at a time. Mm -hmm. Savoring it all over there. And I'm just way too busy. <laughs> just sit there and waste the whole day watching Daredevil. But why would we be busy around here? Yeah, I don't know anything that we have going on right now. I'm about halfway through. How many how many episodes have you got to see? I'm, I'm not. I've only watched a couple. Just a couple. I'm a little you, bit ahead of you. I, it's very dark in there. It's dark and it's really dark, like camera dark, lighting dark. And I enjoy that for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I think it the scenes where uh, it makes me feel like I'm a little bit blind. Yeah. Right? It's trying to give me, as the viewer, that extra sensory. I'm trying hard to strain and see what's going on in some of the things. Uh, I'm also sure it really helps with the choreography and the fighting scenes to have it a little bit Everything darker. Everything looks so smooth and awesome. Yeah, it's a little dark and blurry, so, you know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Uh, and then, writing is, is pretty dark. I, I know Daredevil's supposed to be our hero. You think they're trying to keep up with Gotham in that way? Or do you think, you know, because I've, I've read some Daredevil and it's never come off as being quite so heavy. I think this is pretty close to Frank Miller, Man. Daredevil. In okay. fact, in the credits, if you look carefully, there's a, there's a little credit, <laughs> credit nice. to Frank Miller. In he, that case, then it does make sense. He's yes. not writing these, but I think they're saying source material from... It's an homage. Yes, and of course Stan Lee's in the credits a couple of times. So. Excelsior! He doesn't come off as a lot of a hero. I mean, he saves some people, yes. He gets... But he's not this um, truth justice in an American way. He's more like... Almost kind of a means to an end kind of guy. You've made me mad, and you shouldn't make me mad. <laughs> You're going to pay for that. These streets need to get cleaned up, and this is just how it's going to happen. Yeah, he's he's more Batman-y, uh, like Batman in that sense. A little more vigilante-ish. Except he doesn't have all the cool gear Batman has. He's just a ninja. It's Batman. Yeah, so... But he's not fighting like crazy super villains like Batman either. He's he's basically fighting the mafia. That's a good point. Which I love because it makes it all the more realistic. Yeah, just, yeah, that's true. You know, you're not looking for that otherworldly character or the the superhero that or the super villain that's that that the changing of them has made them bitter and hate society. You just have gangsters. I mean, yeah, gangsters are real. It's a good crime noir television show. Uh, noir. We uh, like it. Yes. Uh, and and there's a lot of play with his law partner and, and the law firm part of it, which really gets kind of glossed over in most of the comics. You don't you don't get a lot of that. So the day job part of it is, is covered Just as well. Just as important but... as the nice. nighttime stuff. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and I enjoy uh, the way uh, the well he hasn't been named yet that I, as far as I've seen but the big heavy yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, D'Onofrio does a great job with that I mean they're building him up almost where so far in the series I don't see a lot of difference between him and, and uh, Daredevil they they seem to want to have the same thing. Dark anti-heroes. 
Yeah, and, and he sees himself that way. I don't want to give you too much of a spoiler, but there's a, a talk between them. And he kind of says, you know, we both want the same thing. We're both going about it differently, but there's not room for both of us to do this. You know, this is new territory. I think the fans and the critics, for the most part, are, are loving on it. Uh, now, another neat thing I really adore about it is the reference back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Oh, yeah? They didn't, they didn't ignore that. Uh, it starts off, they're trying to rebuild part of Manhattan after what happened in Avengers when the aliens come down and destroy half the city. It meshes together with the other Yeah, Marvel. so there's lots of references back to, uh, you know, we got to rebuild this, this section after what happened and what, what have you and whatnot. And then um, I think one of the the bad guys are conversing with each other and like, you know, you, you let one man in a mask beat all of you. He's like, well, you know, he was he was really fast or something, and the, and the guy's like, look, if he had an iron suit or a magic hammer, I'd understand. <laughs> <laughs> so again, a little jab back at the Avengers. Um, so, Daredevil on Netflix right now. If you don't have Netflix, call somebody who does and say you're bringing the popcorn. You're coming over because you have to watch it. It'll take you a full twelve hours to watch all watch of it. Them all, but it's worth doing. Just become a, re a temporary tenant. <laughs> in their living room. Couch surfing. And we'll see you next time for TV. In May, Myrtle Beach, XCon. Come see me. Trust me, it's gonna be fun. Steve. I'm comics. Rubbing, I'm rubbing my hands. Oh, yeah? It's all about comics. comics. So what's new this week? Anything awesome? Uh, yeah, Archie vs. Predator is out this week. You're, you're kidding me, right? No. No. Everybody's been waiting for this. Archie vs. Predator. Two covers, huh? Well, there were more. These are the ones that we have. <laughs> so how many are there out there? Uh, I'd say there were probably six to eight covers for this. Now I can see right off the bat this is a limited four-part series. Yes. So this isn't going to be a continuing series. No. So that doesn't mean running out and grabbing the number one is going to necessarily mean it's going to end up being very valuable. Perhaps. This, this is more of a go get it because you like Archie or you like Predator or you think the idea of Archie versus Predator is just ludicrous. I, I think this may be one of those comics that you need to get and put on your coffee table so when people come over, they're going to look down at it and go, Huh? I have to admit, this cover intrigues me to see Jughead's head in Predator's hands. That's the best cover ever. Yeah. Um, beach games, party games, the most dangerous game. I still don't know how I feel about this, but Steve recommends it. I trust Steve. His advice is always good. You need this. Whoops! He it's says you need it. Day, yes. So you need it. Archie yeah. versus Predator. I mean, they did great with the Archie Afterlife thing. And Archie and Kiss was a huge deal. That's, but see that I could see the gang going to see a Kiss concert. Predator. <laughs> you look at the long pedigree of Predator crossovers that there have been. Though. Are they going to do Aliens next? Probably. Maybe. Probably. I mean, they've done. 
Alien versus Predator versus Batman versus Terminator versus Aliens versus Superman. All right. Hey, Archie guys, Dark Horse. I want to see. Are you listening? Archie versus Freddy Krueger. There you go. Now that is a million dollar idea. That's a great idea. The gang falls asleep and has to fight Freddy Krueger. And then you can make a movie of it. Nightmare on Elm Street. It could star Johnny Depp again. Back that to his original role. That one's not free, Dark Horse. I do want a royalty. Because we said it on television. Right. It's out there now. It's real now. Yeah. It's <laughs> official. Thank you, Fox. All right, what's next? Run, Love, Kill. Run, Love, Kill. Run, Love, Kill is a beautifully set... Kind of Minority Report meets Blade Runner kind of feel. This is a really awesome cover. Tremendous now, artwork, great storyline so far. This this book will wear you out. This book is all about um, adrenaline. You you get the clicking timer. The timer is clicking down, and. The running is happening. We haven't gotten to the love or the kill part yet. There's a lot of running. Just a lot of running. And running is important in this yeah, game. I see this is another uh, limited run of eight yes. issues. Yes, this is all about uh, the main character trying to get out of the city that she's in. The interior art is so is pretty cool. You can see all of the sort of little bits and pieces of, of work that she's going through to escape the city. We don't really know what's going on yet, but I will say that the uh, the first issue will leave you breathless. Now, the uh, thing about uh, this and limited series, at, at first you might say, well, it's not an ongoing series, so it's not going to be all that valuable. But what could make this valuable? Uh, limited print run? Well, now you're just thinking purely comic book. When they turn it into a movie or a oh, TV a show. Movie or a TV show. So. Yeah, now all of a sudden you want the first edition of these guys. Which might have already happened. Yeah. Like there might be a deal in the works. I don't know. Who knows? Buy it and find out. Steve recommends it. It'll be exciting. I trust it. All right. I see what's next. Convergence number two. How's that rolling? So far, so good. Anybody converged if yet? You're, if, if you read Crisis on Infinite Earths, then you need to get in on Convergence. This is going to be DC's big multi-title crossover for the year. Probably not. I'm sure they're going to come up with something else. But for right now, this is the big multi-title crossover. So this is all the Infinite Earths converging. And they said some are going to die. Some heroes are going out. Yeah. Have any gone out yet? None yet. No, no spoiler alerts. No spoiler alerts for you. I see a blue Superman. And I will a red tell Superman. you though, uh, the the Batman on Batman violence is going to be extreme. <laughs> <laughs> there could be no battle bat violence. What? That's what's wrong with this country. Too it's, much battle on bat it's, violence. It's gonna. It's gonna get worse, people. It's gonna keep getting worse. Can you imagine? I mean, that's that's two of the most ruthless, maniacal plotting, conniving individuals. Well, there's more than two. How many Batmans are there? Well, there's an infinite number of them. That's the great part. How do they... How, how do they? You can have a whole world of Batmans fighting each other. Just a, now, that would be... They just... Some alien just takes all the Batmans from all the infinite Earths and puts them on one Bat planet. I think we've seen that story, too. And they can bat it out. Is that Maybe. something Mixelplix did? Maybe. Batmite. <laughs> Ah, oh, good times. Uh, are there bat mites on the infinite Earth? You know, I don't think there are, but there should be. Because great. So, is yeah. this a red Superman, like another Superman from another planet? Um, that's a good question. I didn't look at the cover. That's the that is the variant, the Tony Daniels variant cover. Tony Daniels variant. Fabulous number of Tony Daniels variants for this series. I'm excited about that. Big fan, great artist. Well, if you're a DC fan at all. You have to buy this series. Uh, that looks like a pretty yelly Superman, so I think he might... Uh, he looks like the normal one, though. We're well, going to go with that for right if now. If you're a fan of Batman, Superman, Flash, DC characters... All the characters are going to be in it. Aquaman? Because, oh, the Convergence Aquaman came out this week as well. Oh. He's, he's on the cover, looking very dejected. Yeah, I like, I like Aquaman. People well, don't give him enough this credit. Is, this is an interesting version. Um, who knows who we'll end up with. Which worlds Aquaman will end up with at the end. Waterworld. He and Kevin Costner. <laughs> there you go, guys. It's all Kevin Costner's fault. This is This Week's Goodness brought to you by Steve. We'll oh, see you yeah. next time.
event segment because we have so much to tell you about and the next coming up event segments it might all be about events because XCON's coming up and there's so much to tell you it's almost on top of you but before we talk about XCON something's gonna happen before XCON happens every year first Saturday in May and that is free comic book day free comic book day that's right people. known as FCBD free comic books thick bid <laughs> <laughs> so, for those of them out there who've never heard of Free Comic Book Day, all two of you, what is Free Comic Book Day? Free Comic Book Day is a day that the comic book industry has put together um, where you can come to comic book stores that are participating, not everybody participates, uh, and get a free comic book. Or more free comic books. Uh, sure, sure. There's Some stores have thousands of comic books to give away. And we will have thousands of comic Some books. stores have five or six. Every store makes their own rules, right? How they give them out, who gets them, all that kind of thing. Exactly. The only main rule is they have to be free. They have to be free. Cannot be sold. You can't sell free comic book day. You can't sell free comic book day books on, on free, free comic, comic book day. But the next day when they become rare, it's free game. <laughs> Open season. The implication is that in the past some free comic book day books have gone up in value. That's true. The Spider-Man Free Comic Book Day from the first year is worth about a hundred bucks. So, you want to get your free comic books, you just have to figure out which ones you think are going to be worth something. Yeah, you do. So, what are the rules for XCon Comics Free Comic Book Day? Uh, anybody can come in and get free comics for free. Uh, with a purchase, you can get additional free comics. We have a reason for that. That's So, there's comic books left for the Second free comic book day that we do, the first first thing, Saturday morning at XCon, the first thousand kids? Yes. The first thousand kids through the door at XCon will also get a free comic book. Free comic books guaranteed for the first thousand kids, Saturday morning at XCon. And there's, we're going to have even more books this year, aren't we? We'll see. We're working on something special. We'll see. We'll see. We, we've made some friends over the years with XCon. Something we've never done before. Some of those friends might be dropping off a whole bunch of free, awesome comic books for you guys. So lots of free books, and you like to hear the word free over and over again because it's a good thing. So Free Comic Book Day is the first Saturday in May. It's always the first Saturday in May. Which is May 2nd this year? I think it is. May 2nd. What time are we opening the doors? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, May 2nd, XCon Comics, downtown Myrtle Beach, free comic book day. Free books. There'll be more than free comic books here. We'll have all kinds of stuff going We're on. We have some stuff on sale. The X-Girls will be here. The X-Girls are going to be Playing here. Playing games and being silly. Wearing costumes. Taking pictures. Might play some video games. Video games. We got stuff. Three Things free, are happening, people. Three free comic books just for walking in the door and saying, hey, I heard there was free comic books here. 
and there's great stuff. There's a Transformers free comic this year. There's a Secret Wars free comic this year. That's got to be a by big Jonathan deal. Hickman. There's a, an Attack on Titans free comic book. Manga book. It's an actual manga. whole manga. A manga. It's huge. Free. Free. Now, I also understand that will be the morning that we unveil the even better subscriber plan. So you want to be here for that because it's going to be awesome. Don't miss it. No, we. it's almost going to be like free comic book day every month. You'll have the sad. Yeah, every month there'll be free comic book day if you get into the XCON Comics subscriber plan. There'll be other stores having free comic book day all over the country, including Myrtle Beach. We encourage you to visit all of them if you have the time. But if you can only make one, this is the Should one you want to be at. One. Yeah. Are we going to have discounted tickets for XCON? You sure betcha we're going to have discounted we will. tickets for XCON. Great time to come and buy XCON tickets. The best time to come and buy XCON tickets. All right. Now, speaking of XCON, let's just jump right into that. Oh, yeah. So we've so gone much. through all of the guests, I believe. I don't believe we've left anybody I out, have we? we've covered everybody. Everybody here. Josh McDermott, Rick Flair, Marilyn and Brian, Tim Russ, Richard Harmon, Nicholas Brendan, Michael Copen, Blake, Ciara, uh, Bill Oberst Jr., Bob Camp. We, we, I, I can't even remember all of them. There's, there's so many. There's a lot. I, my phone's ringing off the hook every day. Hey, can I come to XCon? More people want to come to XCon by the minute. Yes, I probably had five Power Rangers just today ask if they could come to XCon. We don't know where we're going to I was them like, on. why? What's going on? Is, is somebody bad attacking? Do we need that many Power Rangers? <laughs> Protect the beach, Power Rangers! Protect Go! us! Go! You guys are going to be seeing these soon. You'll be seeing these all over the place. We printed a lot of them. This is just to let you know about all the awesome events we have just for kids. And you can see right there, First Boom. Thousand Kids, free comic books. There it is in print. Yeah, yeah. So we don't want to take that back. So, and here's the smaller version of the poster you see behind us. You'll be seeing these all over the place very soon. It is not too late to volunteer, is it, Steve? No, we still need more volunteers. We'll always need more volunteers. You can never have too many volunteers. So there's no excuse not to go to XCON. If you say, look, dude, I don't have the 25 bucks. Volunteer. In fact, if you come to Free Comic Book Day, stay later on that afternoon. We'll be having a volunteer meeting. You can volunteer right then. That will be Free the, comic books and volunteering That'll be your XCON. last chance to volunteer that day. It's going to be nuts. But so, yeah, I don't have the 25 bucks. can't go to XCON. Well, you know what? You can volunteer. You get in free. And you get a free T-shirt. It's better if you volunteer. Yeah, you're going to have to work, but... But it's for the Boys and Girls Club. And it's fun. Yeah, it's do you're doing a good thing. Doing a good thing, and it's fun. Okay, and so free comic books. And a t-shirt. Come on, people. Alright, let's talk about some of the contests. Everybody loves and knows about the kids' costume contest. Yes. Saturday, May 16th, 2 o'clock, main stage, kids' costume contest. We need you guys to line up about 30 minutes in advance and be ready. We're going to get as many of them on the stage as we can safely do at a time. We're going to go through it. We're going to let the audience applause. We're going to weed them down to about 10. We're going to have a little more time for the audience to applause, and then we'll be crowning some winners. Every year we have tons of prizes. Every kid gets something. I don't believe any kid ever left that stage without a prize. It's going to be sweet. And these aren't like dinky prizes. These are like passes to Family Kingdom to ride rides for free or uh, Magic Quest to play Magic Quest for free. It's cool stuff. Lot, lots of good stuff. Stuff kids want. Then there's an adult costume contest that's also by audience applause. Yay! That's later on. It'll be a judged costume contest. That's for those of you who actually take some pride and effort into making a costume. Not just a rubber horse's head. Yeah, so it's more... Hey, that dude was awesome. So it's more than just... The costume, uh, showing it off, it's actually showing off the craftsmanship and the handiwork. Exactly. You will go before the judges and talk to them about how you made the costume, where all the stuff came from. The Did you grow the cotton yourself there. before you spun it into thread and got your loom out? Did you tan the hide it? that you used to make the leather? Did you raise the calf from a young, young calf into a full cow before you... Did you raise indigo to dye the fabric yourself? All right, we're making a little bit of fun of this because we've been to some very um, hoity-toity costume contests where they do get that extreme. We're not going to be that extreme. We It's cool if somebody helped you make the costume, 
the point is, is the costume handmade? And we'll be announcing those winners Saturday afternoon as well. Now, the winner of that costume contest, outside of the normal prizes, is going to get something really cool. The 3D, 3D printed action figure of themselves in costume. Coolest thing ever! Somebody will take a 3D scan, as if you're somebody famous on a TV show, and then 3D print your first prototype action figure of you in your costume and mail it to you. How cool is that? That's probably the coolest thing ever. I think I want to win that just because I want my own action figure. One of our one of our cosplay guests that's actually going to be here and going to be one of the judges just had one sent done to him done and sent to him and it looks amazing. It looks exactly like him in his costume. Okay, outside of costume contests, we have the dating game, uh, a drawing contest, Magic the Gathering Super IQ, Magic the Gathering, Magic players, minimal thousand dollars in prizes to play in this Magic tournament. It's a Star City game sanctioned Super IQ going on in one of the ballrooms that we have. Uh, I hear there's a War Machine tournament. War Machine Steamroller tournament will yep. also be happening. That's going to be a big deal. Uh, Scare will be back playing Pathfinder and other games. Um, something called the X Cruise. They're going to have a booth there booking you for a cruise if you want to play these games and meet celebrities on a boat going to Cancun. It's like the love boat, but with nerds. The nerd boat. Actually, it's pretty cool. If you're into Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or any of those type of games, they're going to be a, a day of playing those games. Then the next day, you're going to go to the Mayan ruins and tour the ruins and get clues. And then the next day, you're going to play the second half of the game using the clues that you picked up while you were touring the Mayan ruins. So it... It takes the game away from just playing at a tabletop and you actually go and tour some ancient Mayan ruins to complete the game that you then go back and play. That is a unique gaming experience. Basically the nerdiest vacation you've ever taken. Oh my gosh, that's nerd explosion. So cool. Uh, conga lines. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you're just grasping. Alright, there might be a conga line. It's not going to be officially... No, Saturday night, uh, there are several venues hosting bands and a zombie walk on the boardwalk at 9 o'clock here in Myrtle Beach. That is going to be, That's gonna be cool. interesting, a zombie pub crawl with lots of bands. I understand if you have a ticket to XCON, there's no cover charge at any of the clubs. Cool! If you don't, there'll be a small cover charge that they're going to throw back at XCON to help us out with our charity. Now, what about the Myrtle Beach Chivers? Is that... They're going to be at one of the bars. They may have a, their own cover charge because they're going to have giveaways and stuff like that going on. They're going to be at 8th Avenue Tiki Bar. Yes. Yes. The XCON Chive On. XCON Chive Meetup. Cool, right? Right. Um... Friday night, the VIP party will be right here in Nerd Bar, where we'll have all the celebrities here for you to meet, have a beer with, talk talk shop, talk whatever you want to. Those are limited tickets. You Shoot some buy pool, play some Oh, yeah, it's extremely limited. So if you don't already have one, I highly suggest you go to the website and get it now because it may be too late by the time you see this. If it'll let you buy it, you're in. We don't care. If it won't let you buy it, call us. Maybe we can squeeze we you in. Maybe get you a ticket. Man, wow. that was a lot to cover, and we didn't even scratch the surface. There's still more stuff. But we are all out of time.